Peace the best is family. If you want to get rich, follow these biblical principles that I'm about to break down in this video. Stay tuned. One of my all-time favorite quotes inside the Bible is in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, and it says, Give and you shall what? See, you already know it. You shall receive. The question is, are you giving? And if God is not a liar, he's telling you, you give, he will give you something in return. Why aren't we giving? Whenever I implemented the strategy in my business, my business flourished. So now what I do in the mobile home communities, I have something called positive impact over positive income. So what I'm doing is I'm positively impacting the community. I'm giving back to the community. And in return, there's times that I get free mobile homes. There's times that people are telling me that they're selling their mobile homes. I'm getting for little or nothing. All because I found ways to give back to the community. I see the need and I help them with whatever it is that they need inside that community. I fulfill their needs. That's what I do. Now, let's stay in Luke. Let's go to chapter 16, verse 10 and 11. God said, if you are honest with the little thing, you will be honest with the bigger thing. But God also said, if you are dishonest with the little thing, you will be dishonest with the big thing. Let me tell y'all something. We have been praying and praying and praying for bigger things, better things. We have a two-bedroom, two-bathroom house. We're praying for a five-bedroom, three-bathroom home. But the question is, are you maintaining? Are you taking care of the little thing? How can God bless you with the big thing if you're not taking care of the little thing? You want that new Mercedes Benz because you're tired of your Honda Civic. However, you haven't had an oil change in two years. The engine is about to blow, right? The car is not clean, but you want something better. No, you got to take care of the little things in order for God to bless you with the big things. In Proverbs chapter 13, verse 11, beautifully said, it states that dishonest money dwindles away. But whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. See, some of us, we want the microwave success. We want it right now. But you got to practice a little delayed gratification. It says, when you get money little by little, guess what? That's wealth accumulation, right? But now you're doing it the honest way. And sometimes when you do it the honest way, it may take a little bit longer. But don't get so caught up on social media. Because some of these people, that's not even their vehicle, right? Some of the homes... It's not even their homes. But you see it. You be like, man, I want what they have. Nah. God actually got something better for you. But he wants you to wait just a little bit longer. Because like J. Cole said, there's beauty in the struggle. But oftentimes, people, they don't want to struggle. And I tell my students that there's some people that want to be a part of the outcome, but never a part of the process. See, in the process is where you become the person who God wants you to be. But we just want that quick microwave success. Nah, nah, we need that rotisserie bacon, family. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 4, it says, Sluggers do not plow in season. So during harvest time, when they look, they find nothing. That sounds like procrastinators. When it's time to do something, they don't do it. But when they're looking around trying to get the results, right? They find nothing because procrastinators, they put off things that they can do today for tomorrow. And anytime you put off something that you can do today for tomorrow, you're actually slapping God in the face because you're telling God that you have all of the time in the world. But none of us know when our number is going to be called back to the Father. And I'm talking about death. Family, don't you know that money is spiritual? Don't you know that some of us right now 
are attracting poverty but repelling money? This is why in the scripture, Proverbs 23, 7, it says, as a man thinking of his heart, so is he. Don't you know that it is so critical and crucial for you to think highly of yourself? Those people who say, man, I don't have anything, I'm broke. Well, you're attracting that to your life. This is why I always say my positive affirmation, money comes to me easy, money comes to me all the time by divine right. Because I know that the words that I'm speaking, it holds a lot of weight in this universe. Let me put it to the test. Right now, I want you to think about your dream car. And when you think about your dream car, I want you to think about it every single day. When you jump inside your vehicle and go to work, don't you know that daily Multiple times out of that day, you're going to see your dream car. It is because your subconscious mind is literally trying to help you get the very thing that you say that you want. 